This is Harvest Moon on the Wii, which is currently only available in Japan, but is coming to the States and there's a very good chance it's coming over to the UK as well soon, so uh, just thought we'd give you a bit of a show of this. Uh, welcome to the loading screen, you'll uh, get used to this view if you play this. Um, this Harvest Moon, I think overall, probably talking to Kitsy about it, is it just seems a bit disappointing. Um, okay, so look, it's a lovely little world. now. Pressing the D-pad and pointing with the right, look, lovely camera, you can look around, oh, that's as far as you can go to the right, and look, oh, the lovely mountains going up, no, that's as far as you can look to the left. And through the whole game, you have this really annoying ability to, you know, if you could just see what was a little bit further. Anyway, whenever you take it off that camera, then uh, it just defaults to this overhead view, which is, is fine in your own garden, but when you're running around, you tend to get a little bit lost, don't really know what you're doing. Uh, okay. Picking up weeds, you can uh, either do stuff by shaking the remote. Oh, okay, you can't pick up weeds by shaking the remote. Um, you have a whole range of different tools which are accessible with the C button on the nunchuck. Uh, let me see, could go through, get the hoe, press A to select it now. Oh, sorry, that's the, yeah. Um, you can dig by shaking the remote like that very responsive, as you can tell. Um, or, as what will happen after the first five minutes, you just press the A button because it's a lot easier. Um, one thing that is good is that to get rid of your uh, your tools, you can just tap the B button and then tap it again to get it out. Um, you don't have to go through sort of long menus selecting, uh, selecting, selecting any of your tools. Despite uh, problems that you have with the camera, um, it is actually a very pretty world. Um, I mean, for those of you who aren't actually that familiar with Harvest Moon, basically it's, uh, I suppose you'd say, an agricultural sim. Um, a lot of your time is spent farming, raising crops, you're talking to people, trying to build up friendship points, eventually hoping to get married, have family, uh, build up your farm. Um, it might sound a bit lame, but actually it's it's really endearing. Um, it's a very, uh, it's impossible to talk about it sounding, without sounding really cheesy, but it's just, it's a feel-good game. Um, and look, oh, these aren't actually my animals, these are animals belong to someone else, so I can't interact with them. Um, but uh, in other harvest means, and in this, you can do, with your own animals, you build up friendship and love points with them. You can do this really cute thing where you sort of, uh, Oh, being pushed out of the way by a small horse, that was interesting. Um, where you actually kind of uh, can be affectionate to them and you actually stroke them and it just adds another element so you're not just uh, hoeing, uh, working hard in the fields all day. So uh, now I'm actually kind of going into the mines. Um, that's another element to uh, the sort of making money is that you actually go down and, uh, well, mine, uh, destroying rocks and you can get gold and silver, various things. Um, and, uh, oh, I need a different, uh, there we go, that's the one I want. Um, you actually get lots of money, or you get lots of, oh, I just found a staircase, that's good. Um, or you get loads of really weird sort of power-up things, a bit like Bomberman, you know, where your controls go sort of backwards or you're going too fast. And actually, I think on some occasions you die, which is, uh, which is not good, but... Um, it's uh, fairly sandy, you can drop through and... Uh, I don't know, in this game, you've got so many different things you can be doing, whether you're trying to build up friendship points with people, whether you're trying to actually make the farm work, whether you're trying to raise livestock, whether you're trying to literally just wander around and, uh, and look at the view. It's just, it's a really nice game. And I, it may not, it's not without its problems, but I'm definitely gonna pick this up uh, when it comes out. Uh, and I hope you will too, uh, and won't think it's just, uh, a bit lame because it's not